Hey y'all, welcome to today's Midday Nana. And I'm gonna try to be quick today because I had to sneak off in my garage because I have a lot of kids and my house is really loud and I really feel like somebody's gonna come looking for me in a few minutes. So I'm gonna try to be quick with this Midday Nana and get straight to the point. So it's Valentine's Day. Today is love day, so we're going to talk about love today. So let's jump into Matthew 22, 37. We're going to talk about the two greatest commandments. Uh, so Jesus replied, love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. And the second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. So of course we know the first commandment, love, um, love God. Put no other guys before him. Love him with all your heart, all your soul, all your mind. We got that. We know that. We, I want to talk about the second one. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. And this is easy when we like our neighbors. <laughs> it's not so easy when we don't like our neighbors and they don't like us. Our neighbors are not likable. The haters, the enemies. We want to talk about them because we have to love them. As hard as it is sometimes, we have to love them. You know, we have to. Now, with that, let me clarify some things. If someone is, you know, when I say love them, that don't mean sit there and just take anything and let people mistreat you or treat you any kind of way. No, not at all. Do not let anyone abuse you, neglect you, mistreat you. Don't be anyone's doormat. Stand up for yourself. That's one of the biggest misconceptions people have um, as Christians is that, you know, we just have to sit there and let people treat us any kind of way. No, we don't. And we will not, you know. That's not the case. So don't let anyone mistreat you. What I'm saying is if somebody is talking about you, flapping their gums, just lying and, and doing stuff like that, and it's not hurting you, let that go. You know that. Let God handle that lightweight. You know, we're not going to entertain that. We're not going to entertain that because one thing we know for sure is it always going to be somebody who don't like you for whatever reason. Sometimes they don't even have a reason. We can't worry about that. Like I said, as long as they're not physically harming you or doing anything like that, don't worry about it. Let it go. If Jesus could love Judas, which, like I said earlier, that's a lot because Judas can't come to my kickback. I mean, I'm going to try my hardest to love him, but you can't come to my kickback, you know. So, But we got to love him. And the reason he tells us to love him is because in Exodus, Exodus 14, 14, God says, that he will fight our battles all we have to do is stand still don't move he see it he know he like i got this i got you chill out chill chill do your thing the last thing i want to talk about is when god fights some battles and he gets those enemies for us this is in proverbs uh 24 and 17 it says do not gloat when your enemy falls. When he stumbles, do not let your heart rejoice. For the Lord will see and disapprove and turn his wrath away from him. So y'all, when God fighting our battles and he getting that enemy and you see that world just crumbling all around him because God is getting them for messing with you. We can't be too happy. We can't be over there bragging and boasting like, mm -hmm, that's what they get. That's what they get for messing with me. Uh-huh, uh-huh. That's what they, we can't, we can't do it. Pray for them. Pray for them. Because if we brag, God gonna get us and he gonna take, he gonna stop, he gonna take his hand off of him. He gonna turn that wrath away. Mm-mm. God, keep fighting. Keep fighting my battle. Bless him, Lord. But keep fighting my battle. So we can't, we can't boast when our enemy uh, falls or when they stumble because that's God answering our prayers and fighting our battle for us okay so on this love day we're gonna love them because when we love them that means god gonna take care of them if we don't love them and we acting a fool god can't step in and when god get them that's 10 times worse than anything we could do so love them pray for them and watch god work happy valentine's day y'all